just going through certain fields. Make this to Route 66 heading to Brands Home and into the city. A popular route which most people will take. You can see the uh, footpaths in a great state. I do have steady mode on the camera, but the uh, cycle paths are particularly badly damaged in places. I actually think this section around here has been down for at least 30 years without any improvement. But to a main junction, which is completely overgrown. It would be perfectly okay if the footpaths were maintained and kept to the original width so cyclists could pass at ease but there's so many places where the footpaths narrow to a point where you have to merge with the pedestrians and it's not particularly great. This route typically takes me around about 40 minutes. 
it's going from East Hall over to Hessel, which is surprisingly around about the same time it takes in a car. So. like to have been riding down that bit on the night time. You see a lot of people being injured by that hole back there, which has been there around about a year now. This is Route 66, that's their main route that people will be using. And expected to be using to get into the city. the vast majority of the money that's been given to Hull City Council will actually go on cleaning the current infrastructure which is something which actually they should have been doing without any investment. random bollard for no reason. Just, just put bollard in the middle of a cycle path. Then a broken one.
straight on to the main road where we then pick up the main road because we're in a cycle path into the city. So there's no junction, we expect it's just across here, which actually it's quiet this morning because it's six seconds. These cycle paths are particularly wide here. Throughout the rest of the city, they do get quite narrow, which I'll, um, I'll cut back to once once we've got through the city, because the actual roads are fairly good, to be fair, through the city centre. 